Hey guys, welcome back. Your three new faves are here again. This week, we're gonna talk about Justin Bieber. Right now, he's the only big male pop star we have. And since he's come back with purpose, he's been doing a pretty good job of keeping his personal life out of the limelight and focusing just on the music. So what are your guys' thoughts on the resurgence of Bieber? I mean, I think this is a case where the music has thankfully saved the life of a musician who was really struggling there for a little while. And I, I'm not even gonna say that people have forgiven him, because I think overall his apology tour, I'd give it a B. You know, he still has acted out. He's not like a changed man, I don't think. But thankfully, his music is now so great that everyone is singing it, everyone's dancing to it, so I am, I'm happy for him. I kind of love that him and Selena are both kind of controlling the charts right now. The apology tour was effective, the music has been good. He's still a little shit, and we all acknowledge it, but like, when you're bumping tunes, like, love yourself, like, I mean. The album has been in the top five um, the entire time it's been out. All three singles that have come out from the album so far have gone to number one and have been there for a few weeks. So I think he's finally in a place where it's like, we can take Justin Bieber seriously as a pop artist. We'd like to tear people down to build them back up. And I think this one, it turned out good for somebody finally. So do you guys agree that going for something a little bit more urban versus the acoustic or the dance style will keep him on the top of the charts and get people interested in the CD even more? Every single release so far has been surprising. Mm -hmm. I didn't anticipate Love Yourself being a single no. at all. It was my favorite track when I listened to it mm -hmm. initially, and then it just kind of surprised and went to number one for him, and it's been great. So yeah, I like that they're taking chances with their singles, mm -hmm. and it's working. It's very cool how pretty much all four singles has had like a different sound from the next mm -hmm. one. I didn't really love Love Yourself as much as everyone else. Sorry, Acoustic Thebes is not my favorite. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I think this next choice is a good one. I'm into it already, so I, I'm excited. I think Company is very slick, it's smooth. It shows that R&B side of him that he introduced on journals. I think that this is gonna be another top 10 for him. It will probably go number one because radio can't get enough of him. I think it was a very good choice for him. All right, so while we're on the topic of singles, it is no secret that Bieber has been burning through singles like nobody else has in recent memory. So far, he's on single number four, and he just released the album in November. I think it's very alarming, but there is clearly a lot of hits left on the record. So, Josh, <laughs> what do you think should be next off of Purpose? Like I said earlier, I wasn't a huge fan of Love Yourself. I think it was a nice song, but I'd be interested for him to release maybe another ballad, just to see if he can woo me over with that one. Um, but yeah, I think officially I'll go with that. I'll go with a ballad. I'd like one of, one of those. I want him to release this song about praying for the children, because it's ridiculous. It's We Are The World, Earth song, but on the dance beat, and I'm into it, but not really. But like you were saying, there's so much to choose from mm -hmm. that it could be a seven single album, like, 1989. Maybe another ballad, I'll mirror what Josh is saying, just because mm -hmm. Love Yourself blew up and it wasn't mm -hmm. even like a straightforward ballad. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, something sort but something like Purpose. I have no doubt in my mind that Company will hit number one, so I'm really curious to see how many number ones he can get from this album. I wonder if he's going to be able to break, not break the record, but match Katy Perry and Michael Jackson in terms of how many number ones. I really do think he can do it. Personally, I'm waiting for The Feeling to become a single. As soon as I heard that song from the record, I was like, this is gonna be a hit. I'm not a big Halsey fan. I'm like, so whatever about her. But I think her and Bieber on this track, I think it just sounds like magic, really. And I think it has all the makings of continuing his number one streak. I would like an urban single, maybe, um, just for urban radio and rhythmic radio, whether it, I think it'd be uh, No Sense with Travis Scott. I think that would be cool to see. I don't know. We'll see. So I think we've made it pretty clear that we're all here for Justin Bieber 2.0 and that we're all excited to see what he has left for us in 2016. That about wraps it up for this episode of Pop Talk. Let us know what you think of Purpose and what single should be next after Company. We're curious to hear your thoughts. This has been Jordan, Josh, and Rich, and we will see you guys next time. That's it, thanks. <laughs>